welcome to my YouTube. My name is Tahir and we are back with another vlog. So today is Friday, July 1st and I actually just put up into work. But when I get off work, I'm gonna go home because I just finished packing for the cabins. Kyla and I are going on a very impromptu trip to the cabins. We literally don't know the location. We don't know what to expect. We don't know what it looked like. We don't know anything. Um, his family kind of planned it. So we're just gonna kind of go with it. But yeah, this vlog is going to be kind of like a weekly vlog. So we're going to go to the cabins, probably do a little bit of working out, meal prep, maybe hit up TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I also wanted to add some pieces into my hair. You know how I like with the braids, um, you see some styles that have like the wavy or the curly pieces in between. I kind of want to do that, but either way, I'm going to bring y'all along with me. So yeah. Um, all right. All right. See y'all later. guys so we are just about to head out from the cabin and do some day activities maybe some shopping go visit Colin's family and we'll catch back in with you guys in a minute so we are out in the city just exploring kind of just um, in uptown kind of just seeing what there is it's a really cute boutique here I'm gonna step inside for a minute and yeah come with me those little pieces like everything in there was so girly and so me <laughs> if you know me then you know <laughs> but now today is Monday actually Monday the 4th of July and we are going out for a walk just kind of enjoying the scenery for the last time before we head back home um I got up too late so everybody left me they down there I don't know if you can see them <laughs> But they way down there, so I'm kind of behind, but still trying to get my little workout in. Something. If you know, again, then you know. But yes. I'm gonna enjoy this walk and then head back to Charlotte. And then get back into the swing of things. Y'all know how that go. Back to work. Back to working out. Back to meal prep. And things like that. But yeah, I just want to check in with you guys. Alright, bye. I try to be healthy and put Mrs. Dash salt free lime pepper. And guess what? Girl, how are you gonna eat avocados with no salt just to bring salt to the table and use it? Well, Miss Dash wasn't giving what she said she was gonna give. I gave exactly what I said, girl. It's all free. Hey, y'all. So, we just made it to Mad Miles. Oh, Mad Miles. Yeah. Mad Miles Fun Club. We about to get this two mile run in. So, be ready because we ready. Today is Wednesday. Uh, that was fun. Mad Miles was fun, right? Like, I be really trying to get my two miles in. Like, if I could run the full two, like, I would feel so accomplished. But I can't. <laughs> I'll probably run a half 
and then kind of be stagnant for the rest of the way. But either way, your girl be trying. But today is Wednesday, July 6th. I'm getting ready to head to work in a little bit. And I'm pretty much busy all day. I really wanted to do my hair and show y'all me putting the pieces and stuff in because I'm hopefully, I want to see if it's turn out cute. But yeah, so I just want to check in with y'all and let y'all know what's going on. Good morning guys, so it's the next day and that hair was an epic fail. I don't know what I did wrong, but it did not work. I don't know if I didn't tie him in tight enough because what I did is I crocheted the hair into the braid and then I tried to tie it like in like a little knot or something so that it could be secured. This morning woke up, took my scarf off and ran my finger through my hair. Girl, pieces was just coming out. <laughs> pieces was coming out. And I'm actually headed to the DMV right now so I can get like a new license and ID or whatever. And I'm like, I can't be in a line at the DMV pulling my little strands out. Y'all see I did put my little lashes on because I'm going to get my, my new ID. I'm like, I can't be out here naked eyed. Like, I need to put some lashes on a little something, something. But, yeah, actually, I, I think I was telling y'all yesterday that I got some stuff to do today. But yeah, uh... If you know how to do that style with braids that are already in, because I think some people do like, um, they braid that wavy hair into the braids. But if you know how to do it without, comment below so I can figure out because I can't be out here like that. <laughs> yeah. Colin was looking at me like, for y'all who don't know, um, Colin is my husband. And Colin was like, he's like, you sure you want to go out the house like that? I'm like, give me a second, give me a second. Let me run my fingers through it a little bit so I can see if any pieces are gonna stay. Some pieces stay. Some pieces were secure, but the majority, no. But all right, y'all. That's all I wanted to say. I'll see you guys later. Y'all coming to the DMV be so crazy, like. Every time I come, I always think, I'm gonna get there early. I'm gonna be the first in line. I'm gonna get there before they even open the door, so I know I'm gonna be the first in line. Y'all, they bringing in lawn chairs. They are bringing, I don't have all day to be sitting out here in lawn chairs to get a new ID. Why are y'all bringing y'all, they're enabling them. Stop bringing y'all damn lawn chairs. People got they, I'm gonna get my lawn chair. <laughs> oh, I'm annoyed. I probably need to get out the car so I can go uh, get a place in line. All right, y'all. Now homie asking for my number as I'm coming out the DMV from getting my name change from being married but y'all it's 9 11. <gasps> it's 9 11 say a prayer <sighs> but yeah so what i said what time i say 7 16 i went in there coming out at 9 11. it wasn't too bad like i still got time to get my nails done and to hang out with my husband and to get something to eat and get a cup of coffee i'm in a good mood <laughs> I love being in a good mood. Like, let me just tell y'all something. I've only been married for what, like a little over a month, but it has been such a rewarding feeling. Like having somebody there who always have your back, your back, who always have your best interests at heart, who always look out for you, somebody to have conversation with after a long day at work, somebody to speak life into you that you can have meaningful conversations with, somebody that you can grow old with who has a plan for your life and their life, like I don't understand like how there's just so many people who just want to be strictly friends with benefits now I see if like you've gone through something and you know you just really want to just be and you know you don't want a committed relationship but 
being married for me has always been the goal. I've never pressured, you know what I'm saying, men in relationships to be married, but I knew that's what I wanted eventually. You know what I mean? Like the security that comes with it just and I don't even mean like not cheating or things like that I just mean like knowing that you have someone knowing that someone loves you you love them and you guys care for each other like the other day I was so overwhelmed I was so overwhelmed y'all like I, had, I think I had deleted my footage off my camera or something or I had did something but every time that I you know I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm extremely overwhelmed or I feel like I just can't do it anymore or I feel like you know I'm like I can't do this I'm done like I'm done I'm done I'm done you know, trying to throw away homework assignments, throw away projects, throw away, you know y'all, throw away homework assignments, throw, throw away projects, and just, you know what I'm saying, Colin always come through and help and make it better, like, in my mind, it'd be real big things, like, I'm like, oh my god, this is it, this is it, I can't figure it out, he'll come over and fix it in like 10 minutes, even something as simple as taking a cup off one of my shake jars, you know what I'm saying, I mean, taking the top off, yeah, one of my shakes, one of my shake cups, I'm like, I was in here so frustrated, getting my shirt wet, trying to get this top off, and he came in and opened it effortlessly. Like, I literally broke down the other day in tears, because I'm just like, having somebody is such a beautiful feeling, and I really wish that on everybody. But, um, yeah, girl, but nonetheless, I'm about to go home and get some coffee and get some breakfast. But I said all that to say, like, you know what I'm saying, like, nobody's relationship is perfect, and if you are expecting to you know find a perfect person and and you be perfect for them and you know I mean not you be perfect for them but you think you're gonna find this perfect person and they walk into your life perfect and you walk into their life perfect and y'all create this perfect magical like although we all wish that it happens that way with relationships come flaws with people come flaws we all have never seen tomorrow before you know what I'm saying so like a lot of relationships and finding the one and all that's give and take you know what I mean like nobody's perfect no matter how you know and I feel like I have supreme confidence like I think very highly of myself you know what I mean but nobody's perfect right we all have areas of, of improvement we all you know can aspire to be better than we were yesterday in, in all aspects of our life so you know now that don't that don't mean settle now because I ain't gonna be out here settling I don't encourage nobody else to However, you know, be open-minded, you know, and have fun. That's the biggest thing for me. <laughs> you don't have fun or no. I ain't coming on the ride if we ain't having fun. Okay? But yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.